Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Well, it's the moment of truth, and we're now getting ready to head to take on, head to the crater to take on Sephiroth. Let's go over the setup before we go. Uh, I spent a lot of time uh, getting my setup all ready to go. So, oh, by the way, um, I don't think that I have given uh, all creation to Yuffie. So let's do it. We're not going to use it, but it's there. Okay. <clears throat> For Cloud. Got the Ultima Weapon. Oh, actually, let's do this first. For Cloud, we've got the Ultima Weapon, the Mistile, and a Ribbon. Perfect against status ailments. For uh, Barrett, we've got his Missing Score, his uh, Ultimate Weapon there. Uh, an Escort Guard, which basically is there because it's got six item slots. And uh, I'm going to be changing out his armor midway through the final area. And then a Ribbon to protect against status ailments. For Yuffie, we've got the Conformer, the Zedric, which is an excellent defensive weapon. And the safety bit, which can protect against um, instant death. And there's a lot of enemies in the cave that can cast instant death, so we want to make sure that we're prepared against that. Um, I've also been told that you can that there's some enemies that will wipe out your entire party with instant death attacks. So uh, this is kind of just a precaution to make sure that we're ready for that. For the materia, I've basically got cloud on um, anything, a lot of stuff that will boost his HP. Uh, so we've got a, we've got him an enemy skill, a mime, an HP plus. A slash all for him. Now it's in his ultimate weapon because I don't want it to grow. I want it to just stay at slash all and not go to flash. Uh, w item just because. Uh, master summon. So in case we need to use any of the summons, we can. And then added effect and contain um, for that combination there. For here we've got counter attack because I like that. Long range to make sure that he can attack from the back row with no problem. HP plus to boost his HP and it's down here on the mistile so that it can grow, uh, that it can get some AP. Preemptive, just to increase the rate of preemptive attacks, why not? Um, and then Phoenix and Final Attack. So in case a disaster occurs, um, Phoenix, which can revive our party, is there. For Barrett, we've got uh, the Missing Score equipped. Now basically, as I mentioned before, the Missing Score, the way it gains power, is based upon the AP of all the materia that's linked on the Missing Score. So what I've done is I've gone through and I've put on my most, uh, or the, the um, Materials that have a lot of AP on them. So you can see we have Knights of the Round and Hades and Double Cut and W Summon, Mime, all this kind of good stuff there, okay? And then Kajada as well. I've also equipped here some um, materia. Uh, you know what I just realized? That has more. So let's exchange that real quick. Uh, let's see, let's change that. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I know why I did this. Just kidding. Um, I want Kajada with Elemental to power that up. There we go. And then uh, Neo Bahamut, I want that to keep growing, and eventually it's going to replace one of these uh, once it gets past the point where, it's, where there's a significant difference. Uh, HP Plus to give him some HP because he's got so much material on that it's really dropped his HP. Magic Plus to give him an even more magic power, and then Time and All in case we need to stop or slow our enemies. For Yuffie, we've got the Master Magic Materia, which is every spell in the game. Pair it with All, so now we can basically take care of anything. Master Command, which replaces Mime, Morph, you know, Death Blow, all that stuff for Yuffie. An enemy skill, Counter Attack, Magic Plus, HP Plus, and MP Plus to really be a beefcake her out. And then the Zedric is so powerful, so powerfully defensive wise, but she doesn't really need any more material. So there you are. So let's get on our airship and let's head up to the north and let's take on Sephiroth. Finally, after. A lot of delaying and optional side quests and stuff. But that's the real point of a Final Fantasy game, is to delay the main objective as long as you can and do side quests. Because that's really what it's all about. So you, land, uh, you go over the northern crater, push B to land, and we descend right in. All right. Thanks, I appreciate that. So let's drop in and let's do this. All right, and here we go. Uh, where are we gonna go here? Ah, oh, there we are. Looks like we can only slide down. Well, we're all ready to go, so let's do it. Wee! That's not really sliding, it's running very awkwardly. <laughs> yeah! Kick-ass music, man. I love it. Okay, now if you ever need to get out, um, this cave right here will take you right back to the exit, so there you go. Whoa! 
And in here we get a save crystal. Now this is a really, really, really cool um, item. A really, really neat concept. And what the save crystal does is you can create a save point anywhere in this cave. So that's pretty cool. I think that's kind of a neat little um, addition to the game there. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so basically we just need to make our way down. And go from there. Ah, gargoyle. All right, so I think if you attack him once, he spawns to life or something. Or you gotta do something for him before he'll... There he goes. Okay, Barrett, let's put that four attacks thing to use. Ow! <laughs> Look at how much damage Barrett is doing. Oh, wow, he's not even dead yet? All right, got him. <laughs> Love the missing score. Once you got some AP going, that's just awesome. By the way, um, uh, one thing to mention is once you get the save crystal, make sure that you um, push A button again to cancel it and to get it into your inventory. Because um, if you don't do that, but then you go into... Um, actually, let me see. If you open the chest with the save crystal while the animation of those rocks falling down at the same time. Um, also, if you exit the crater through the cave doorway, you won't get the save crystal in your inventory. So you want to make sure that you immediately, once you get the save crystal, push uh, push the button again to get it into your inventory. Okay, and I believe this is an enemy we're looking for. Oh, all, uh, no. uh, Dark Dragon, yes. Okay. I want to try and manipulate this guy. Because he does have an enemy skill that I want to learn. So hopefully we can get that to work. Aha! Got it! Alright. And we can learn the Dragon Force enemy skill. So this is a useful enemy skill. Woo! Yeah, so basically it, it gives you um, I'll have to check and see what exactly it does. Um, but, um, well, we'll check it in the screen. But I know it gives you a boost. Somehow. There we go. So that can be good. I'm probably not going to use it that often. I might use it in the final battle. We'll see. Um, so let's give it to Yuffie there. So you can see why I wanted to boost up Knights of the Round. There we go. Now bear it for a cut there. Now you can see why I wanted to boost up Knights of the Round. Um, as, with as much AP as we can, because now Barrett can just own everybody. Eventually, um, if, I think if you put like eight Master Knights of the Round materia on that, he can actually kill Emerald Weapon in one shot, uh, combine it with some Hero Drinks. Um, I think I've seen that before. So there's some videos on YouTube about that for sure. Uh oh, I can't go back. Dang it. And we got some more new enemies here. Um, I don't even know what they're called. Parasites. Okay. Even yeah, Barrett, Barrett's just gonna own them anyways. Yeah, our party is in really good shape um, for this area. I mean, which if you spend a lot of time building up your characters, you're just you're just gonna be totally fine. All right, time we get a guard source there. Let's use that on Cloud. There it is. Set the cloud. All right, very good. Now let's just keep moving. This music is so good. By the way, with that level four death equipped, uh, that's one of the ways that an enemy can destroy your whole party. And that would have worked on Yuffie, but she had the safety bit equipped, so that's pretty cool. Okay, let's keep on moving. And I'll look up here in a little bit what the Dragon Force does, because I can't quite... All right, now we're in this area. Okay, we want to start by going to... You can go down either the left or the right. Let's go down to the right first. This area is kind of confusing. Let's just keep jumping down. And over here, and we get... A guard, a guard source. I'll use that on cloud off screen there. Uh, let's see. And now let's go down here. And down 
here. And we get a mine source. Very nice. Uh, now, can we go back up this way? No, we can't. But we can start making our way back up this way. You know, I'm going to make one change to my material setup. Um, I am going to swap out a, uh, let's see, well, do I have one I can do? No, I can't. Shoot. I was going to say I wanted to swap out a uh, counterattack material with Barrett there, but he's got everything I want. Okay, we push OK, and we climb up. And basically we just want to make our way back up this left side now and just take the chests um, that we missed earlier. Cloud is very resourceful and can just do his deal there. And we go over here and we get a magic source. Very nice. And look this way. Just keep climbing up. Cloud's moving up in the world. What can I say? And then up this way. Here. We have another new enemy here. What is it? The scissors. Oh yeah, cut you up. Here we go. But no problems there. Actually, I don't really know what the scissors can do. It doesn't matter. Because we can just take them out with anything. I mean, our party is so... Oops. It's so ripped right now. It's unbelievable. Okay, now let's head up this way. And we go over here, and we get a power source, and if you go over here, we get another HP absorb material. So I'm just going to make my way back down off screen, and I'll just meet you at the bottom of this crater, just to save some time. Okay, we're back, and I've used all the sources on cloud, so we're good to go. Okay, now, we want to go, now, oh yeah, this part. Okay, now, we want to go to, uh, let's see, let's go over this way first drop down and we'll pick up a mine source very nice okay now if you go over here you can look up this way and cloud will jump up haha -ha. and now I'll jump down then we want to enter this cave right here and pick up a mega elixir very nice okay now if we go over this way we should drop down, haha, to another level down here. Anyways, we go over here, and we will get a hero drink. Very nice. <clears throat> By the way, the Dragon Force, um, what that does is it increases your defense and magic defense by 50%. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I'll set up this way. And we'll pick up a guard source. Very good. Now, let's see, I believe we can get one more chest, and I can't remember how to get it, it's up this way, yeah. And it's right up here, and we will get a power source, very good. Now, I think we can just walk up this way, let's see, yeah, up here, and if you go up here, Now we're back out here and we're back at the top of this area. Now, this time we're going to drop down and down again. And I think we want to enter this cave here. Yep. And now we're going this way. And I believe we can drop down. Yep. And down again. And down again. And down one more time. And we're here. Good job, Cloud. Woo, and look at, look at this, it's our team. Okay, before going on, I'm going to do one more thing. And that is, I'll make sure I can switch them back down. Okay, very good. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to put my save crystal right over here. And I think that this is a really good place to put it, because it's pretty much at the midway point between the crater. Um, and from here, you can go and you can start to put it, uh, you can start to, um, in the next ring you'll be able to climb up back out of the crater, meet up with your team members, all that good stuff. So I think that, that is a good place to do it. You don't have to do it there, but you can if you want. There, uh, I've 
a lot of people have had problems putting the save crystal in this screen. Um, they just, for some reason, they have problems getting back up and stuff like that. So I would recommend putting it up there, and we meet up with our squad right here. All right, the road splits into two, and we're going to split into two groups. Now, let me, uh, it's very important that you send, um, we want to send almost every person to the left. The only person that we're going to send to the right is Tifa. So we're going to go left, Barrett will go left, Tifa's going right, Red Deer team will go left, Yuffie will go left, left, and left. Yep, yeah, so we're going to send Tifa by herself to the right. She will be just fine. All right, fortunately I can still make my team. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, and now we're gonna be ready to go. <laughs> Gotta get through to Sephiroth. And there goes the team. <laughs> go Sid. All right. And there goes Vincent, off to do his thing. And Red 13. It's true, but I think we can do it. And Kate Sith's just gonna bounce along like an idiot. Oh, that's really sweet, I think. I don't know. All right. <laughs> You'll be fine, Tifa. You have no materia. But I at least gave you your ultimate weapon. You'll be just fine. All right. This will indeed be the end. But what awaits us as we continue to go down the paths? And what treasure will be found by sending our team members where we did? You're going to have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out the donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.